going. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Vera. And I'm Christina. And today, <laughs> you guys, I'm really excited about today. I bet. Yeah, because I've been working on a picture, finally ready. Good. I can't wait because a long time ago, I had did a Dominions, I drew a Dominions angel, mm -hmm. but I was never happy with it. Oh. I wasn't. The, the original one uh -huh. that I did long years ago. So, I've created a new Dominion Angel, and that is our art unveil for the season, for the winter season. New Drum artwork. Work. Yes. Let oh, me get her out. The yeah. Camera. <laughs> She's in my portfolio right now. Drum roll. Dominion Angel. There she, she is. is. Oh, perfect. There she oh, is. That's good. This is the Dominion Angel. You will see her rose tipped colored wings that she gets. The more good that she does, the more of badge of courage she gains of color in her wingtips. Beautiful rose color. Mm -hmm. And here you want to tell them what's on that little pedestal next to her? You see that? It's a book. It's a book. And it has a pen. Exactly. And that is because the Dominion Angel, she, she has the book of our life. Wow. She writes down the book of our life. And what is really amazing about that is it's not just this life. It's all our lives. It's wow. our soul's journey that she keeps record of. Isn't that cool, That's Vera? awesome. It's really cool. I love her. And one of the things that... I just love the way you do clothes. Thank you. This... This outfit that this dress that she's wearing, I was really excited about it because it's a it's like a golden rose hued luminescent dress, and in the description of this uh, episode, mm -hmm. this video, we're gonna have the link so you can go straight to her page mm -hmm. in our store and check her out. Ooh. Yeah, she looks so pretty. Isn't she pretty? But uh, anyway, so she has the book of our soul's journey. Awesome. And what Vera and I wanted to tell you about this angel is that she can help with cell memory. Mm. And what's really amazing about this, it's the positive aspect. You know how you're always saying, mm -hmm. Vera, you can put that down here. Well, yeah, they'll, they can go, they'll go to it after. Okay. Through the link. But you know, Vera, how you're always telling us that when we can bring forward our strengths from other lives, how much that can help us. Yes, it's amazing. And this is what she helps you with. Exactly. The, the positive cell memory. Because there sometimes it's not negative, but there's the negative side of cell memory, right? Of course. There's a, always a positive and a negative. Yeah, when things happen mm -hmm. in another life mm -hmm. and then they can manifest in this life in a negative way, but once you learn it, you can release it and let it go. Yeah, exactly. Let's give an example real quick. Okay. Um, if you've been poisoned a lot in other lifetimes in this life, you might have a problem with nausea or digestion problems. And that's a, a cell, that could be cell memory to where when stress is affecting you, it goes right to your stomach or your intestines. So that's an example. But like you said, once we learn from it, we can let that cell memory go. Release and it and let it go. Because mm -hmm. you've been there, done that. You don't have to bring in something negative from a past life that you've already lived. Right. But it's because you didn't really learn the way that maybe you really wanted to learn that you bring it in and it manifests so that you have to do it again. You know, I wanted to say one thing really quick too. Isn't it interesting, Vera, how sometimes that manifestation is we almost like chart that mm -hmm. to get it. It's almost like a little sign mm -hmm. or a little flag in our life or our chart to remind us, Yeah. don't forget you wanted to get this. Yeah. <laughs> and that's one of the ways we bring it in. It's exactly. physically that it's right in our face yeah. to get because it. Because that's when it really, you know, you can't ignore that part. Exactly, yeah. that's mm -hmm. a really good point. Mm -hmm. Now, the positive side of it, of cell memory is Probably, I would say for me personally, the most, hands down, the most healing thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Because through you helping me to remember past lives where I've known love. Yeah. 
because in this life that was a challenge for me from relationships that I had right mm -hmm. and so I'm giving you this as an example of, of why of how you can use your Dominion Angel to help you to recall and bring forward those strengths do you know of anything that's more healing than love no nothing whether it's from a friend whether it's from uh, a parent or a child or a, yeah love is an and animal and especially our self mm -hmm. self love is well that is the hardest one it really because we're taught is. you can't do that that's being selfish that's being and that's one of the most important things it is and i know for me vera i couldn't get it i, I couldn't, couldn't either feel it until you helped me to see how my soulmate in other lifetimes, when I was with him, he was my husband in other lifetimes, you showed me how I looked through his eyes. And once I remembered that, that I could think about that in this life, it healed me. Yeah. It's not that where I powerful. needed to run out and go get a relationship to feel love because I had it in here. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm bringing this up to you is whether you are or are not able to get an answer or have a reading with Vera, this angel um, can help you with bringing forward the strengths like love mm -hmm. and those types of strengths that you've had in other lives to fill them in this life. Having them together, that's why our work works together so well, mm -hmm. is because it's more, it's more powerful yeah. because of the information from the past lives and then having the angels help. Yep. So, you know, I always recommend that. And then on top of that, if you, if you don't have a chance to talk to Vera yet, you can ask your angel to help you in dream time. Right. You know, sometimes we might have a dream that is actually a past life recall, you know. Yeah, and you're <laughs> supposed to remember for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And it could be something where it's a, a glimpse into a life. Or you can sometimes... And trust it. Trust yourself. You know, a, a lot of times people come to psychics and things because they want validation. But you have it. It's there. And if it resonates, if it feels like that's it, that is it. You know, trust yourself. You're psychic too. You wrote your chart. Who would know it better than anybody else besides your angels and your guides and yeah. all that? So, you know, that's the part that people have to learn too. And that's what it's going to get better you know, in 2018, that the spirituality is really starting to rise. But right now, all this muck is going on. Right. Because it has to cleanse itself. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, too, because a lot of times the things that we're praying for, whether it's, you know, like the golden keys of knowledge, mm -hmm. gratitude or um, uh, fortitude or strength, you know, a lot of times we're praying for these things. The, only, the reason why we do that is because we actually have them within us. Mm -hmm. We just need to see it. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's where right knowledge there. is power. Yeah. Knowledge is power. So the, anyway, that's why we wanted to show you the Dominion Angels. Mm -hmm. Not just because we wanted to reveal a new art piece to you. But that's part of it too. It is. It is. <laughs> but to remind you, you know, the, mm -hmm. the image itself is a great reminder that... You're on the soul's journey, and this is a powerful angel that can help you to bring forward those strengths to help you deal with anything that you're going through in this life. Healing-wise, yeah. depression, especially with loneliness. Yeah, that's a biggie. It is. Very much so. But a lot of times, like you just pointed out two weeks ago in our episode, that we, a lot of times, have had a life where we had so many people around us that we wanted to just get away from it all and have our alone time. And so that might be another reason of why we're feeling alone in this life is because we wanted to experience that. But we can still we can still have that. It really has to do with how we're feeling inside. Mm -hmm. I don't ever feel alone because I know that we all have an entourage on the other side that's following us around. <laughs> You know what yeah, I mean? If people would just see that or just know it and feel it. And I know people still say, but you know, I want to be able to touch someone in life. And, and that's important too. But that is part of the lesson that you need to learn so that you can move on and get to that place. 
Exactly. Because you wrote that in for, you know, whatever it is that your soul needed to experience. So. And sometimes I've, I think too that we might plan those alone times to see these qualities about ourselves, mm -hmm. to feel more lovable and that type of thing. And then when we're around people, we can put ourselves out in a very genuine way right. and connect with people. Because a lot of times the connections that we're making, we think we want a love relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Or we want this type of relationship. But the connections might seem very, uh, not what we were expecting. Could be somebody who's uh, waiting on us in a business, mm -hmm. you know, or um, a friend that we meet because we had helped them when they got lost in driving. That happened with this gentleman and this lady where they became great friends because he helped her to get home and she was lost. You know, mm -hmm. random kind of connections like that, but we connect in, in a more genuine way. Yeah, and the key is that you have to put yourself out there. You can't sit at home and say, why don't I have friends? Exactly. Or, you know, you have to, you have to participate. You just have to. Yeah. I mean, I guess you don't, and then you'll just still be in that catch-22 type of life. But, yeah, it's not easy, but you have to put yourself out there. Yeah, and like I mentioned, sometimes it's not what we expect. Mm -hmm. We're expecting it to be in a different way. But if we open up to this other way... It's pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, look at fear. The same thing with you and I. We worked together. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when people work together, they may or may not connect with each other. Because right. they're like, well, this is just, you know. Well, I'm there's several people we didn't connect with. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So, anyways, we just wanted to tell you about your Dominion Angel. Mm -hmm. Reveal her to you. And that she, because we all have a Dominion Angel. And she can help you with bringing forward your strengths and ask her to do that for you. One of the ways is showing you messages in dreams. Right. So we'll focus on dream messages in yeah. this episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep a pencil or a pen and a paper by your bedside. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, write down those, those thoughts. Because isn't that funny how you look at it later? You think, oh I've my gosh, that. that was a message and I wasn't thinking about it when I first woke up, but I can see it as clear as day now. Yeah. Or you think you're going to remember it and thought, oh, I don't have to write that down. Right. <laughs> exactly. And I've done that a million times. Yeah. And think, oh, it'll come. Done. Yeah. Or you can do a recorder. You know, you can get your phone, keep your phone, and just do an audio. That's a good one. Yeah, because sometimes people don't want to write. Right. That's true. So that's a different way to do it. So Vera, we have to tell them a special greeting because this upcoming, oh, in a couple nice. of days... That's right. So, from our heart to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> we love you guys. Yeah. Enjoy your families. Bye. <laughs> or your pets. Yeah. Friends. Bye.